So I think without further ado, we'll jump into our first presentation. We have Jeff Lapita here. All right. Uh, thank you very much. This is uh, my first time at this meetup. So uh, thank you for uh, having me here and uh, for letting me present Data Hero. Um, uh, you know, I'll try to keep the demo short and then hopefully the questions long because uh, I'd love to answer the, the direct feedback you have. But what Data Hero is, it's an uh, online data visualization analysis platform for basically anyone to use. We're trying to solve the problem that data is becoming a lot more prevalent in every, everyday life. <clears throat> the ability to analyze it, the most accessible tool I know that you're most familiar with is something like Excel, but it makes it very difficult to do visualizations and make tie together all your cloud data, all the information that's moving out. So Data Hero is a platform that allows you to sign up right away. I encourage you to go sign up, datahero.com. Um, and you can start using the platform right away. I'll, with that, I'll just kind of go into a demo and show you some of the cool things that you can do with Data Hero. So, logging in. <clears throat> Basically, what Data Hero is, it allows you to upload your CSV files, your Excel files, um, your Google spreadsheets. It connects to a bunch of online services. So, you can see here I've already connected with a bunch of these services like Google Drive, Dropbox, Box. Uh, you can also connect your SaaS services, things like MailChimp, GitHub, Salesforce, uh, SurveyMonkey, Desk, um, Stripe, Box, etc. And what we do is make it very easy for you to analyze that data with a lot of, uh, without a lot of effort. So <clears throat> a good demo that I like to show is Google publishes this Google government removal request by product and reason. It's just a flat CSV file that they send out that gives uh, information about takedown requests across all their different products. So uh, information about governmental requests that come in saying taking down content from which service with what reason. So as I import it here, it's going to do a lot of really cool things. It goes and grabs it from my Google Drive, so I could do this on a tablet just as well as I could do it on my local computer. <clears throat> and underneath our technology is, is pretty slick and does a lot of things smart. So as I bring it in, it tries to find where the core data and information in that file lies. We know your data is not always clean. We know, for example, a Google Analytics export has a bunch of header tags on it or things that might not be actually pertaining to the data. So we go and find and figure out, is there header information, is there not? We try to detect that automatically. We also go down and do a bunch of type detection, things like finding dates and country information, textual information, numbers. Uh, but we go way beyond that. We figure out, is it a phone number? Is it a currency? Is it a zip code? How you want to display and how you want to analyze that is, is obviously a lot different. <clears throat> the next thing we realize is that as, as people come into data products, lots of times they don't even know what they're asking or trying to find. They say, I have data, give me answers. And so what we do is we automatically create with our recommendation engine a bunch of um, suggested charts. So we go through the data, look and try to figure out what correlations exist, what might be some interesting charts for you. Uh, so in a few clicks, I automatically have information about the items requested to be removed by country. And I'm going to show that to you on a map because it makes the most sense to see it on a map. I can then just go and add on other pieces of the information. So if I wanted to see what does this look like over time, the idea is just drag and drop it on. Data here will automatically come up with the chart that we think best visualize that data. So in this case, we chose a stack column graph. We try to make it very easy for you to just drag and drop uh, and explore with just sliders and drop downs. So for example, we've drew, uh, grouped all the information into nine categories of 64 total. You could say, well, I want to see a lot more of those. Uh, you can quickly go filter out individual colors, uh, countries or groupings of countries. Uh, you can change the day of the week or the type of, you know, over here we've put on time, so it's grouped it into quarters, which we felt was a way to, the, the best way to show that information um, based on the time frame that came in uh, through your date information. But if you wanted to say, what does this look like by day of the week, for example, all of a sudden now I can see the majority of the requests are coming on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I can start to dig down into the business reason, you know, with whatever data I'm bringing in, why is that interesting? Uh, beyond general CSV, Excel, Google files, I mentioned we do imports from a bunch of services. So uh, SurveyMonkey is obviously an interesting service uh, that you can use. For example, I've imported this uh, customer satisfaction template idea, and we automatically create those charts. Of course, I can go and ask my own question as well. So if I wanted to see um, the question about compared to our competitors, is our quality better, worse, etc. 
drag it on, it's automatically going to create that visualization we think that makes a lot of sense. Um, one of the more powerful things that I could do, especially with SurveyMonkey data, is I can also add filters. So if I wanted to see, you know, how does that impact based on how customer service representatives are representing our company, I could say, well, I only want to see what the impact is for those that represented us well and apply a filter outside of that information. How do you make, so the idea is making it very easy to um, uh, put in any, any type of information you want to use um, very quickly and easily creating those visualizations and then being able to export it. Yeah. Oh, and with that, I'll, I'll wrap it up for questions then. Yeah, sorry I went along. Yeah, it's a good question. So we've kind of been experimenting to figure out what is the right customer. Lots of people have data from a variety of different sources. So if you look at the, the SaaS services that we've integrated with, actually most of them are non-overlapping. So we're looking at different segments. So marketing, for example, is represented by MailChimp. A, a sales ops type individual is represented by Salesforce. So it allows us to look into not only vertical and function of industry, but also vertical and function of the person analyzing that data. So it really goes across um, cross spectrum and we're trying to figure out what is the right you know what is the right mix for us and how does that relate to um, the ones we want to the additional services we want to add what's your pricing model right now our pricing model for this is is freemium for what you saw the one feature I didn't show which is called live charts and its ability to update the charts automatically so once I've made five charts if the information is changing below it doesn't matter if it's a spreadsheet SAS service etc you can just say schedule an update for that and it will automatically keep the revisions of your past data and create the newest charts with the newest data and that's twenty nine dollars a month. What are your size limitations on this data Good question. So we're we're putting this mainly towards the individual. Right now we have a free cap on uh, two megabytes basically per per file that you upload, no limit to the number you upload. Uh, ten, 10 megabytes uh, per file, no limit for the paid version. Do you have the ability to do customized aggregations, for example, except countries, right? I can be five countries in call it Asia. Yes, so the the question is, can I group labels into customized formats? So for example, if I have five regions, could I roll it all up and, you know, if I had, you know, Germany, Italy, France, could I roll it up into Europe? Right now, uh, we don't have the ability to roll up into those, into those regions yet or to create those customized labels. Can, can you upload customized data sets, or does it have to be uh, cloud-based sets like uh, Dropbox and Google Drive? <coughs> no, you could just upload a normal CSV or Excel file, and it will work the same. There's a, just via this little uh, black upload button. Mm -hmm. uh, back left, yellow. Can you explore the idea of cross-file analysis? Definitely. In fact, that's where we started. We felt that was probably the one thing that most people want to do. How do I combine my MailChimp data with Salesforce data, for example? Um, what we found is we wanted to nail the individual use case, the use case for the individual ones, so that we could create visualizations on top of them first. Um, and we will uh, most likely quickly follow along with the ability to cross with the, the right type and making that usable. <coughs> Right. Uh, in a particular column, you could do a word count, so the number of unique items or words in a particular, uh, if it's just that piece, we don't do it grouped into a sentence, however, if that makes sense. So if you have a sentence, we're not picking out individual <coughs> word counts in each individual sentence, but if you have a column of text, you could say how many of these are, uh, you know, text A, text B. But what you have, like, no, we don't do. We don't support that. Sorry. So the uh, charts that update is that some sort of an embed, an HTML embed, or how does the update work? Uh, yeah. So on the update, basically, um, like let's say I would, I have the same survey that I'm doing all the time for SurveyMonkey. I can just go and click here to schedule uh, my update, and it will. Um, I can basically turn on a, a schedule. Uh, well, this demo account is not paid. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it would basically pop up a schedule reminder and say, hey, I would like to schedule this every Tuesday and just update it, or you can say update it right now and it will go ahead and do that. On your site, but I'm, I'm building mm. this order of presentation. And oh, I'm right. Yeah, we don't we don't yet. The only exports we have so far is um, is static images. However, we're moving towards embedding, so being able to embed on your website or sharing access and links back into this so that you can uh, share that out with a team or group. One more question. Back right. So, uh, as an individual investor, if I you know need to rebalance my portfolio every so often, is it possible to take the financial data and see how my portfolio is looking over a period of time so that I know that I'm balancing? Yeah, and that's a great question, um, and, and something I do with it myself. Uh, basically, I have a fidelity for my portfolio. I pull down their export, put it in, and then uh, check my, check the information and figure out the right rebalance using Data Hero. It shows me those allocations very easily. Thank you.